we begin European Mental Health Awareness Week, here at Tipperary GEA, we have put together a video to share some valuable insights on maintaining well-being. This week serves as a reminder of the importance of prioritising self-care and mental health, both on an individual level and within our clubs and communities. When you listen to the participants in this video, I hope you get a sense of the things you are already doing to stay well and perhaps get some ideas that could enhance your well-being even further. I find that being physically active is very important for my well-being. I always feel better after training, taking a dog for a walk or even having a few pokes with my friends. Being active is good for your physical health but also nurtures your mental health. Let's remember the importance of movement and the benefits it can have for our overall well-being. Referees contribute to others' well-being in a meaningful way to enrich our own mental health. Through volunteerism and acts of kindness, we not only support our communities, but also cultivate a sense of purpose and fulfillment within ourselves. Let's explore the transformative power of giving and the ripple effect it creates in fostering well-being for all. Hi everyone, Connor Sweeney here. Just a quick couple of words of Wellbeing Week approaching us. Um, obviously, Wellbeing Week is an incredibly important week to look after ourselves, both mentally and physically. Um, but it shouldn't be just Mental Health Mental Health Week, it should be every week. So I just encourage you to get out and about, go for a few steps, um, get a walk in. Your local GA club is probably the best opportunity, like I am here. Uh, just get down, meet someone, connect to someone, no matter how big or small they are. Um, yeah, and just look after the body and the mind. Um, and yeah, look, the weather is getting better as well, so it's the perfect opportunity. Like I said, local GA grounds is the perfect opportunity to do it. It's where we all belong. Being resilient helps us to cope with the normal stresses and daily hassles we encounter. I find taking perspective helps me to stay resilient and it helps me to see the transient nature of most of my struggles. Asking questions like, will this be important in six months, helps me to see that most things will pass. I also try to live in the present moment and let the thought of future worries or past hurts or regrets pass by. But it's also important to know when you need to ask for help and who to ask. Think about who your trusted allies are and what supports are in your community. When facing difficulties with our well-being, reaching out for support is a courageous step towards a better future. Whether this is a club, school or community setting, there are resources and compassionate individuals who are ready to lend a helping hand. In school settings, you can reach out to your guidance counsellor. In your club, talk to your wellbeing officer. And in the community, your local GP and the HSE counselling services are a good place to start. If you need urgent help, call 112 or 999 or attend your nearest A&E department. There are also several helplines that offer free confidential support 24-7. These include the likes of Samaritans, where you can free phone 116123 or text about its service, where you text hello to 50808. And for all members of the community, please know that you are not alone in your journey. Let's break the silence and prioritise our mental health by seeking the support that we deserve. As we conclude this video on wellbeing, Let's carry forward the wisdom shared by our participants and commit to nurturing our mental health with compassion and intention. Together, let's create a culture of well-being where every individual feels valued, supported and empowered to thrive. Thank you for joining us in this journey towards a healthier, happier tomorrow.